Do you like riddles? Yes, I do. We like riddles too. Would you like to play a game of riddles? Oh, I'm not very clever. That's all right. You start. You're the governess. <laughs> very well. Um, here's one. What most resembles half a red apple? The other half. Quite right. How very smart you are, Miles. Thank you, miss. Do another. Very well. Why does the ocean get so angry? Because it's so often crossed. Quite right. Thank you, miss. Do another. Well... No, this is fun. Ah, uh, uh, uh. What was the longest day in Adam's life? The day in which there was no Eve. When there is a woman most duplicated. When she's beside herself. Uh, what's the best way to keep someone's love? Don't return it. Do you know any riddles, Miles? <laughs> Freddy two dancers on a red hill. Now they dance, now they prance. Now they stand still. What am I? Tea. Quite right. Do another. When is it a good thing to lose your temper? When you have a bad one. Another. One can possess me without seeing me. One can wear me without feeling me. One can give me without having me. Give up. A cuckold's horns. Why you like that? I am unusual. I have no body and no soul. One cannot see me, but one can hear me. Only a living being can give me life. I die the moment I am born. What am I? A ghost. A ghost? No, silly. Music. Oh, here's a cold. One last one. What's twice as scary as a ghost? Give up. Two ghosts. Then I see her. We had been speaking long enough not to notice what little Flora was doing. Flora, my diminutive Ophelia, making her way into the water through the reeds. On the tiny island in the middle of our small sea, we had an interested spectator in red and black beckoning to us. Flora! What did Flora see? Flora! Is it a woman in black, hair of red, pale as death? Does she wear a locket? Flora! Does Flora see it? Flora! Does she cry out? Flora! Flora! Flora turns from the direction of the apparition. Her wet petticoats and a white cloud swirl behind her. She stares at me as if trying to decide which way to go. Then Miles raises his hand and she starts back towards us through the reeds. When I have them both hurrying back towards the house, I turn. Miss Jessel was still there. The children safe and in bed, I tell Miss Flora. Oh, Flora, what are you doing in the nursery this time of night? Was that you humming? You shake your head no, why then who was it? Come away from the window, Flora, go back to our room. I look out the window. There in the garden, deep within the nightshade, is Miles, in his white night clothes, staring up at the house, staring up above me, staring up at the tower where I saw Quint. By the time I reach his room, Miles is under the bed sheets, breathing heavily, his eyes closed, his face flushed and glistening. I do not pretend to awake his pretended sleep. I go into the passageway to descend the stairs below. And my candle goes out. Above me the windows like cathedral glass carve a curve of moonlight in the dark. Peter, quit. Darkness is my friend, Peter Quint. I can see your face in the shadows. It changes shape, sometimes smiling with your fine white teeth, other times contorted in a fiendish gash. Can you see the whole of me in my gown upon the stairs? My courage knows no bounds. Why is 
reason no one had fly to witness my boldness. The clock strikes. One, two, three, four. Peter quit. Peter quit. What do you want here? Shh. 